All right, I'm back again, man. I'm trying to get this video out quick and sweet, quick and easy. A lot of stuff going on with this whole COPA thing, and there's a lot of information being put out there by other content creators. There's a lot of mislead information that's also being put out there, and I didn't want to sit up here all day and make my review turn into a COPA review. I got to plenty of other things that I'd much rather do than sit here and talk to you guys about that because there's still a lot of information I'm still not completely sure about so I guess we just gotta sit and wait and see what's gonna happen for the near future for us content creators hopefully nothing big or major or any serious changes but there's already content creators out there that's already made videos that's already talking about moving to different platforms and us as content creators, and man, if we can make a better platform, better than YouTube, man, we all need to come together somehow, some way, and make that happen. But with that being said, this video it is not for children under the age of 18 or under the age of 13. If you are a child, beat it, scram until you're of age to come watch these videos with your boy Prometheus the Collector. Until then, hate to say it, fuck off. But let's get into the video and let's talk about this review real quick, man. Uh, I haven't had a review out in a while. Apologize about that, but uh, I'm going to start off with the box. And speaking of the box, I'm pretty sure there's some age guidance on here. And if you see that says, warning, Ages 15 and up, this action figure is not for kids. And moving on with the Funimation sticker, all the uh, authentic stickers on here to let you know this is not a bootleg. This is not a knockoff. And some awesome pictures of Broly in the back, which is, is a figure that I did want to get. Wasn't planning on getting it right away or anytime soon, but Amazon decided to charge me. And send it to me because I think I believed I must have pre ordered it. So, and I was actually going to send it back. It's like, ah, I really don't want this. And I was like, you know, it really is a cool figure. So I decided to keep it. And like I said, you can see all the promotional pictures in the back of Broly. Oop, one of his big ass heads fell. Let's see if we can get that prop back up on this table correctly without it knocking over. All right, good. And got some cool poses you can get them into. And by far, I think out of all Broly's that's ever came out, this is by far one of the best ones uh, out of the Dragon Ball Super line. And I definitely was digging the movie. I like the the new origin story he kind of took with uh, this awesome character, Broly. Broly, to me, stands for brolic because he is a brolic-ass dude, man. And like I said, another picture of Broly in his face angry and some great super saiyan mode form and oh crack them in the back and on the side see some more pictures of him cool super saiyan mode look like he's getting ready to gut punch somebody my man broly brolic all right done with the box let's get into the figure and let's talk about him, man. Uh, man, this is probably the only one Broly figure that I actually really did want it for numbers of reasons because he actually comes with a few exclusive uh, heads. And one of them being one of my favorite heads is a power down head, something that we don't get enough of from SH Figure Arts. So they need to definitely step their game up with that and give us a lot more options with these expensive ass figures that we get from them. But let's get into the articulation. He does seem to have like a double jointed elbow, but obviously it's not going to go all the way up past the muscle because that big brolic arm is going to hinder it. And this is actually really neat. They actually put uh, peg swivels, or not so much peg swivels, but they definitely put a swivel on the same shoulder pad. So if you wanted to get a little bit more motion and range with this big arm of his, you can do that by simply just rotating and moving that to the side if you wanted to get a little bit more of a uh, action pose with it and if you want to take a quick look see they're like on this little weird ball joint that actually twists back and forth which is nice is new um the head sculpt is very very nice uh i forgot the name of this super saiyan form like a great eight form 
but it's definitely dope and these hair pieces are very spiky so do be careful not to poke yourself um getting into more articulation he's definitely got a double jointed knees if you can see this is a soft plastic so it does move out the way if you want to get that nice range kicking motion with him uh also head moves pretty well he has a lot of hair so if you're looking to like pull his head back and look up you're not really going to be able to do that with all of the hair um that's unfortunate but yeah ankle pivot very little ankle pivot on it actually the ankle pivot is probably one of the the worst ankle pivots you'll probably ever get out of an sh figure arts action figure so keep that in mind but we do have some nice toe pivot as well and yeah he's pretty articulated he's a big dude so you're gonna be hindered with some of the articulation on this action figure but for the most part he's definitely dope by far one of the best looking brolies to date right here um and he does not have face plates on this one this one actually comes with just a couple head swaps don't have a whole bunch of accessories about four different interchangeable hands technically six of them if you include the hands that he comes with but i'll do a quick little demonstration on how you pop the head off it's pretty simple and um all right that it comes off really easy and this is probably by far one of my favorite heads but before i put that head on there i wanted to actually put this on there this is like some type of a uh, like power controlling i don't know what this is i forgot what it was but i think it's something to contain him or control his uh his true power and energy and if you can contain it with a remote i believe it was then you can calm him down bring him back to you know back to earth or wherever planet he's from with that awesome power that he has so yeah i'm gonna snap this head and this is one of my favorite heads out of the whole entire package because we never seen an actual power down broly head in any type of line of sh figure arts or any other third party lines that made them and also this head is also really dope like i said it's like a great bait sand head and you do get this awesome awesome super sand head that is uh, new to me because I don't even think you got a Super Saiyan head with any of the other Broly's. I think you got kind of like a greenish Super Saiyan type head. And he does have like kind of a Joker look to it. Kind of got like the, the purple and green look. I kind of like that. But for the most part, this action figure is very, very dope. And I'm glad I did get it. It's just popped off or fell off the table. That's fine. I'm just going to put them to the side. And all of the heads pop off the same. And you got a couple different hands, some choke hands, some blast type hands, you know, back off type hands. It's nice. They're easy to pop on and pop off. 